What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays a Game. Have you ever wondered about the type of gamer you are? Do you like to show off your skills and achieve everything you can in a game? Do you enjoy exploring every area in a game looking for glitches and easter eggs? Do you see playing games as a way to socialize and meet new people? Do you enjoy competing with others and increasing your rank? If you said yes to any of these questions, you may be among the four classifications of gamers described in the Bartell Taxonomy of Player Types. This video will go into detail about this classification system and how it can help you discover the type of gamer that suits you. First, let's talk about Richard Bartell, who created this classification system. Richard Bartell, born on January 10, 1960, is a British writer, professor, and game researcher. Bartell received a PhD in artificial intelligence from University of Essex. It was here that he created MUD with Roy Trubshaw in 1978. MUD, an acronym for Multi-User Dungeon, is the oldest virtual world in existence. Bartell would later go on to create MUD 2 and supervise courses on computer game design at University of Essex. During his time as a game researcher, Bartell did research on the personalities of people who play video games. In his studies, Bartell discovered that players of virtual worlds can be divided into four personality types. Achievers, Explorers, Socializers, and Killers. This idea has been adopted into an online test referred to as the Bartell test. The Bartell taxonomy of player types is a classification of gamers based on Richard Bartell's research and analysis according to their actions while playing a game. Though originally the classification system was used to describe gamers in multiplayer online games, it can now include single player games as well. The taxonomy is based on a character theory that consists of four personality types, the same that Bartell theorized. Achievers, Explorers, Socializers, and Killers. These are imagined according to a quadrant model where the x-axis represents the preferences for interacting with other players against exploring the world around them, and the y-axis represents preference for unilateral action against interaction with other players. A test known as the Bartell Test of Gamer Psychology was created based on Bartell's research in 1999 by Erwin Andreessen and Brandon Downey. This test contains a series of questions and a scoring formula used to classify test takers among the four personality types. The results of the Bartell test, known as the Bartell Quotient, are calculated based on answers to 30 random questions and totals 200% across the four categories of, per of personalities, with no single personality category exceeding 100%. For example, my res results of, to the Bartell test said that I was predominantly an explorer with 73% followed by Killer and Socializer with 47%, and Achiever with 33%. So now that we have a better understanding of Richard Bartell and the Bartell taxonomy of player types, let's take a closer look at these gamer personality types. First, the Achiever, represented by the Diamond, is a gamer type that prefers to gain points, levels, equipment, and other concrete measurements of succeeding in a game. Achievers will go to great lengths to achieve rewards that confer them little or no gameplay benefit simply for the prestige of having it. Single player achievers will beat games and look for special movie and secret endings, while multiplayer achievers will show off their skills and elite status to others. Achiever is the style of play most targeted by MMORPG genre. Next, the Explorer, represented by the Spade, is a gamer type that prefers to discover areas, create maps, and learn about hidden places. Explorers often feel restricted when a game expects them to move on within a certain amount of time, as that does not allow them to look around at their own pace. They find a great joy in discovering an unknown glitch or a hidden easter egg. Single player explorers prefer to engross themselves in the story of the game, while multiplayer explorers enjoy talking about what they have learned in the game with other players. Explorers enjoy MMOs, but will become bored rather quickly once they explore the land, and quests will seem like a chore to them. Next, the Socializer, represented by the Heart, is a gamer type that chooses to play games for the socialist aspect rather than the actual game itself. They gain the most enjoyment with other players and on some occasions computer-controlled characters with personality. The game is merely a tool that they use to meet others in game or outside of it. Single-player socializers prefer to play popular games to be used as a conversation starter later on, while multiplayer socializers enjoy the online environment and potential to meet new people in online games. A socializer will spend most of their time filling up their friends list and joining guilds to better enjoy the game. Finally, the killer, represented by the club, is a similar type that thrives on competition with other players and prefers fighting live players to scripted computer-controlled opponents. 
These gamers love to sow destruction, so games that are high in carnage, action, and destructible environments are definitely a plus. Single player killers enjoy games that allow them to play as a bad guy or an evil villain, while multiplayer killers prefer to dominate other players due to their competitive spirit. Most professional gamers have this player type. Though Bartell's findings and the Bartell test have met with criticism, they are both valued in the game industry for helping game designers market games towards their target audience, as well as helping gamers know more about what they like. In the description below, I have included a link to the site that has the Bartell test. Click on it, take the test, and post your results in the comment section. That concludes today's video. I'm Tim from Tim Plays a Game, signing off, and good night.